the inside of the furnace is actually lined with a two inch blanket of KOO and I tell you this, this stuff makes all the difference in this foundry it, it retains the heat much better it reaches up to operating temperatures much quicker you'll be saving a lot more money in propane um, as far as the refractory cement I used KS4 um, it's, again I, I recommend using the refractory cement a lot of people use the four parts perlite to one part chimney cement but you'll find that it'll crack on you eventually and uh, you got to keep lining the the, f the furnace with uh, fresh layers to fill in those cracks this refractory cement is rated to 2550 degrees so you'll be able to melt all sorts of metals um, on the bottom the leftover refractory cement what I did was I created a, a couple of these with the leftover waste and these plinths they called hold the crucible up from the floor to the desired uh, to the desired height of the burner where the flame comes out and you want to you want to build this pipe coming in at an angle so if the crucible sits right here you want this coming out around the crucible in a swirl you don't want it coming straight in and burning a hole and heating up only one spot of the crucible you'll see the way this will sit inside it'll come in at an angle it'll swirl around and you'll get an even heat around the crucible on the bottom what I did here was I took an old boomstick I formed two passages at an angle so if I had a crucible failure it would leak down into the catch pan underneath it wouldn't make a mess out of my furnace um, basically the sizes are this is a 13 and 3 quarter inch wide the inside diameter ID is eight and a half inches my crucible is six and five eighths by six six inches and uh, I decided to go with a six inch I could have made it a little bit bigger but uh, at the time I wasn't really casting anything bigger than what you saw me melting in my last video um, yeah so it's been good so far um, don't forget you have to dry these you have to dry out your your cement whatever you're using refractory cement or whether you use uh, betonite clay which is cat litter um, grounded up cat litter you could use that too mixed with uh, plaster of Paris um, all types of different kind of uh, refractory cements are out there whatever you decide to use run the burner slow in the beginning I ran this one as I let it dry for about 48 hours and then I ran it for about half an hour in low very the low setting that my propane uh, burner can push out for half an hour and I let it cool down naturally and uh, next day I ran it for an hour in the medium setting and the next day after that I ran it for an hour and I think I did slowly progressively it'll dry itself out you'll see you'll see it'll start smoking a lot of the the water will start evaporating out of the cement you don't want to go cranking in, in in high heat or else you'll get a lot of cracks in the in the refractory and then um, you'll have more problems there so take it slow dry it out 